Hey everyone, so we are camping right now and Thanksgiving was yesterday, I think, no, the day before yesterday. So we wanted to celebrate, we like to always have our own little Thanksgiving. So this year we're doing it a little bit different because we are camping. I'm going to make Thanksgiving in the camper to show that this guy right here is not a burn box. Uh, we like to use it quite often. I have baked numerous times. Uh, anywhere from meals to pies, you know, cookies, biscuits, whatever. So um, right now, all I've done so far is taken the turkey, the small turkey, out of the bag. I seasoned it. I have an oven bag for turkeys that I put in there. You put a little bit of flour in there. It keeps it from uh, expanding too big. And then we're going to just pop it in the oven. I have the oven right now set to 300 degrees. It, the bag says uh, for the turkey to 350, but since you're gonna be like this far away from the flame, 300 is the lowest this oven goes. So that's what we're gonna do. And we did move that rack down. It was up one notch. Right. So that's that for the turkey. I'm going to set my timer. I'm gonna check it in probably an hour, see if I need to rearrange it or anything like that, change the temperature, etc. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the stuffing. So that's what I'm going to do next. Um, and then after the turkey is done and it's out and resting, I'm going to pop the stuffing in so that it can cook. It doesn't take very long to cook on its own and the turkey wasn't big enough to stuff it. So it's more economical this way and then after that I'll get a pie going I think and uh, pop that in the oven when we're eating. So we'll have pie for dessert. So uh, stay tuned, we'll get the stuffing going. So now for the stuffing, what I have in the stove right now is an onion, stick of butter, some garlic, pepper. I'm gonna add celery to that. And then I will let this cook down, and as I'm doing that, I'm going to get my breadcrumbs ready. So I've got my breadcrumbs over here. I'm going to add this mixture to it. My breadcrumbs are basically uh, gluten-free bread that I just cut up. Gluten-free bread is perfect for this because one, it's what Mike needs to have, and two, it's already naturally a little dried out. So it's perfect for stuffing. So I'm just gonna mix this up. And then I'm gonna add some eggs, a little bit of salt, pepper, and a couple other seasonings. And then I'll be able to put it in a pan. Okay, so now I've added three eggs, a little salt, a little pepper, a little seasoning, and I'm going to add it to my uh, dish, and I'm gonna set aside until it's ready to be cooked. This is kind of the consistency you want. You want it to be like, uh, you want it to have enough egg in there to bind, but you don't want it to be too wet or too dry. So usually I end up using at least three eggs. I'm just gonna cover this and then when the turkey is out I'm gonna put this in the oven to bake for about 20 minutes or so. Okay, so now I've moved on to getting the pie crust ready. Um, I've put in a cup of almond flour, a cup of brown rice flour, and a little packet of stevia and I've just kind of mixed it up to kind of blend it up really nice and then I'm going to add an egg, some melted coconut oil, a little bit of coconut uh, milk beverage and try to get it to the right consistency. I don't typically work with recipes so this explains why you don't ever see me using one. Um, and then skipping back to 
I've got some red skin potatoes going in here. Turkey's looking good, still in there. Once it's out, the uh, stuffing will go in and the pie will then, I'll continue to get the pie uh, filling ready. And then once the stuffing is out, the pie goes in. So, so far, everything's okay, going well. Okay, so I made my pie crust and it was just a press crust. So it's really easy, especially in an RV. You don't have to roll it out. You just um, make it so that it sticks together and then you pour it in the pie plate and you just press it into place. Really simple. And then for the filling, I've got two eggs and a little vanilla. And over here I have a, some stevia with cinnamon, cloves, ginger, and a little bit of allspice. And I've just kind of got them mixed up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the egg. And I'm going to add the pumpkin puree, the full can. And then once I add that, I'm going to add in the coconut milk. And this is actually coconut milk that you'll find in either the baking section, and sometimes they have it in the um, sections where you would buy uh, like Chinese food and your Thai food and stuff like that. So there's the pumpkin puree, and then this is what I have. And there's you can see where it's solidified on top but underneath it's more of a milky beverage or a milky substance and you just have to work with it and it'll fold, end up folding into the rest of this. So I'm just gonna work this in together, get it nice and blended. And then I'm going to take the coconut milk and blend that in. Now normally at home, I would do this with uh, my mixer which will be going with us when we go full time. That is one of my requests because I use it all the time. As you can see right there. So this will take some time to work. So you can get it nice and blended and fold it in together. And then this will be poured into the uncooked pie and then it will bake for, I can't remember how long, I'll have to look that part up. But uh, then that's about it and it's pumpkin pie. It's done. It's done. It's nice and golden brown. Cooked in the bag, nice. And it'll stay in this bag for probably until the stuffing is completely done because when it rusts, it absorbs the juices back into it and it continues to be nice and hot and juicy for an extended period of time. So how long did it cook for? Uh, two and a half hours. What temperature? Uh, 350. The whole time? No, we started it a little bit lower just to be sure that it wasn't going to burn because it was kind of top, uh, close to the top of the uh, oven in the roof. But uh, it started to look good. I checked it after probably 15 minutes and I started to turn up the heat from there. How high did you turn it up to? 350. Okay. 350 is what it was uh, on the package. It said 350 for two hours. So I did three. Most of it was. Uh, 350 for about two and a half hours. All right, so the stuffing is done. I cooked it halfway through with the uh, foil on top and then took the foil off for the last half. It's nice and golden brown. And then I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the pie filling into the pie crust. I'm gonna throw that in the oven next.
we have it. Dinner is ready. We have the turkey, the stuffing. It's per perfectly cooked. It did a good little job in my little dish. <laughs> And this is actually in a pie plate because that's all I had that would something else that would fit in the small oven. My red skin potatoes, nice and seasoned with a little cheddar on top. And then I have uh, mashed cauliflower. And the pie is in the oven. And that's all we have. We're gonna dig in. We're gonna eat this and enjoy it. And then by the time dirt dessert rolls around, the pie will be done. We'll get some video of that too. All right, timer just went off, so we're gonna pull out the pie. This is the final, I mean, I didn't make it smooth, so it's not gonna be like perfect, but. <laughs> for, a camper pie. Yeah, um, and I wanted to mention that the pies and everything else, you have to be, um, you have to know what you're setting the temperature at because obviously this oven is not as big as your residential oven so you're this far away from the flame whereas in your house oven you're that far away from the flame so it's just that, those types of things so generally I'll turn it down like for this specific pie it says to cook it at I think it was like almost 400 for 15 minutes to like get it to set and then turn it down to 350 for another hour, hour and 15. And I just tweaked that to where I, I let it in there probably at about just shy of 400 for about 10 minutes. And then I turned it down and I checked it after an hour at 350 and then I turned it down to just over 300 for the last 10 minutes or so. You just, you just have to be conscious about what you're cooking and that way you don't burn anything. Um, but everything today has turned out really good. You can even ask Mike. Yes, it was, <laughs> it was very good. <laughs> it was delicious. And that oven was working pretty much all day. Yeah, I mean, it was our obviously our heat source, so it's burning our propane, so it's at least keeping us warm and it's making it smell really delicious in here. So, and now we get to enjoy this pie for dessert, have a little glass of wine and kind of enjoy this evening. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked watching me cook today and you'd like to see more, just leave a message in the comments and let me know because really I don't, we don't eat out a lot. I cook like this all the time at home every night and when we're camping I generally always cook something and we may or may not go out every once in a while. We may or may not have a frozen pizza every once in a while just to give myself a break because no one likes to cook every single night. So if you liked it just let me know and I'll try to show you more meals. Did you like it guy? Was it good? Yeah, I got some turkey.